Welcome back to the Fixed Ops Roundtable. Modern payment acceptance has been all the talk at Fixed Ops. I want to introduce the A-list panel. Julie Douglas, the president of Dealer Pay, Tully Williams from the Nilo Company, and Sir Sean Kingry from Wisconsin, from our friends at the Kaiser Automotive Group. Sean, it's going to take me a little time to get used to that. No, listen, if I can get used to it, Ted, you can get used to it. <laughs> all right, very good. Well, thank you all for being here. Uh, by the way, Julie, congratulations on all the success, uh, on the, especially on the fixed op side you have taken the fixed ops world by storm. I understand uh, uh, Tully uh, and the Nilo company have something to uh, talk about as well with the uh, dealer bay. Yes, yes we do. We, uh, we are so excited. Um, we, after extensive training, extensive investigations, our office controllers all said yes. And that's the key issue. And I think that when you look at a credit card processing company, this is something that we don't like to talk about, but it's so important, right? One is important, is it easy to use by the customer? Second, is it easy to use by your people, your team, your riders, your parts counter, your parts drivers, right? And your F&I and salespeople. And then of course, does it make your business office happy? Because if the business office isn't happy, it's not gonna work out. And that's where we really succeeded. We had a great meeting with our office, all of our office controllers at all of our stores. Julie walked through the process, showed how it worked, showed the reporting, everything happened, and guess what? Boom, all in. Wow. Julie, that is not uh, necessarily an easy thing to do. Congratulations to you. Thank and, you. Um, uh, you know, talk to us a little bit about uh, what uh, Tully and the group can expect. Sure. So, you know, just to, you know, elaborate on Tully's point, you know, when you get a call together, especially with, you know, that many uh, controllers or office managers, mostly women, I believe, um, it's it's kind of hard to, you know, manage their expectations because you don't know what they're, you know, expecting you to show them. And this was a different situation because it was very easy. I mean, there was ladies like, oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Will it do this? Will it do that? And, you know, th those are great opportunities because I can say yes. And, you um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very lucky and proud to bring on Milo. So we're, we're excited to get that going. So thanks again, Tully. Excited for both of you. Sean, no pressure, all right? <laughs> no pressure at all. No, you know what? Yes, and again, I love following Tully. It's my favorite thing to do on all the panels, I promise. You know, and, and, and Ted is all the panels and all the, all the recordings and all the live events we do. As we're in process and Julie and I talk, you know, Tully's got it dead on. It's all about the office manager, the controller, whatever their title is. It's not the service manager, sorry, because they're not the ones, they're not the end user. They're not the ones dealing with it behind the scenes. It is the office manager. And Julie's well aware that as we're rolling out our slow, our processes slowly, one day at a time, that Julie's in that forecast. We all know that. We all know the tools that she brings to the table and how it streamlines and how much time it saves on the fix on our side, chasing stuff the next day with the little lady that comes out because she's missing a check. She's missing a credit card. And it, and it resolves all those issues. Yep. So Julie, take us back. Give us a little bit of a foundation on modern payment acceptance for those who may have somehow missed this in the past. And then I want to talk about some new things that you want to bring to the table today as well. Sure. So modern payment acceptance, uh, you know, in a bubble is a system or a point of sale system that is designed just for dealers. So it's designed on an enterprise level that captures each of their stores, each of their departments, all the way down to the physical terminal that is on a desk. And we set it up so that it's organized in a fashion where we're collecting just as much data as possible and reporting on it um, to that office that we talked about to make sure that all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. Um, but modern payments is technology. It's the ability to put technology in a payments platform for optimal use, not just you know to please our customers and give them multiple ways to pay, which is big, but to also make the experience for the person using the system uh, very, very good and, and easy. Um, modern payments is doing things behind the scenes that you don't really think about. You know, For example, we have a solution called level two and level three processing. It's designed specifically for business purchasing and corporate cards that you guys take, and it's designed to lower your rate. And nobody even knows it's happening. It just happens to be something that I developed behind the scenes to make sure 
those require, requirements were met to lower the rate. So that's an example for you, Ted. But uh, overall, there's a lot of things um, that dealer pay has that fall under modern payments umbrella. And Tully, if you don't mind, just give us a little snapshot. What was it that attracted you to dealer pay? Was it the fact that, you know, she is embedded in retail, has the roots in retail, in dealerships, or you tell us? Well, I think that I think the key issue is that most old time business, we've been in business for 101 years. Our processor is the big banks. Big banks don't care about companies. And here's the deal. They probably sub the process out to anybody, somebody else anyways. The issue is that we want to have service as we provide great service, as you, Ted, as you, Sean, as you, Julie, provide great service. We want a credit card processor to provide good service for us because we don't want to take checks. We don't want to take cash. We want to take credit cards and we want to process that our people use easily. The hardest thing is that, oh, the credit card terminal is around the corner to the left. And then there's a line of people that are trying to run their credit card. That's insane. What we want is the ability of the service writer to say, I'll accept your payment here today. Would you like me to send you a link? Would you like to tap, push, or you know, stab, or whatever it is on the little terminal piece? Whatever they want, that's what we need to offer. And then the holy gray of all is the reporting there to support our office managers that work extremely hard upstairs, getting that all done so we can get our financial statement done so we all get paid. And Tully, you were mentioning in the green room before we got started, a couple scenarios. Uh, if you don't mind, talk to us a little bit about that because there are uh, parts deliveries. There are a lot of moving things that this will interact and help with as well. Great point, Ted. I think the issue is, is parts delivery is a big deal. Wholesale is a business that every dealer is in and some are bigger in it than others. Some have accounts, some take checks, ick. some take credit cards, right? The issue is, is that we want to take if we accept a check or take a credit card, the parts driver, oh my God, I'm gonna say it one more time, oh my God, the parts driver can accept it. Tap, stab, swipe, right? And she's gonna talk to us in a second on how she can accept checks at the body shop. Oh my God, what a concept. The goal is how do we make it easier and make sure we get paid? Because here's what happens with wholesale. They have 400 million deliveries a day and we're missing one check. It takes like four days to figure yes. it out. It's just, it's insane because there's so many invoices. There's so many things going on. We're going to save time and money. And here's the best part of this whole thing. We are saving money by using this product, right? Usually when you have all these biddies, is that it costs you more? Funding, bam, now. Discount rate, change, lowered. Integration with CDK, not $4 million a month for. A lot of things happen. I love it. <laughs> Julie, do you want to elaborate on that? Because Tony's <laughs> right. There's a, there's a whole lot going on at dealerships. Yeah, I mean, we, we got into the DMS integration uh, a little more than a year ago. And really what it is, it's data. So it's, it's less things that operators at a dealership have to do. And it's a live feed. So we're getting real-time data directly from CDK or the DMS that you're using. And we're applying it to the transaction. So really, it's like click, click, done. Um, with, when it comes to the parts and, and mobile, yeah, we have a mobile app. It's really great. Um, it's a slim version of the full system, but it gives that delivery driver or that person who just wants to go out to the lot to take a payment, whatever it might be, the flexibility to do it quickly. And it's considered a card present transaction, which one, reduces the risk, and two, reduces the cost. So having a mobile option in your dealership, it seems um, it seems extra, but it's really not if you think about the various use cases um, that it could be used for. So Sean, there's been a lot of discussion here at this roundtable, a lot of panels, uh, specifically on the ability to take our products and services and be everywhere, to be at the customer's driveway like an Ed Roberts, to deliver mobile service and to make everything, Sean, convenient for the customer. Talk to us about that because this seems to fit in pretty well with that. It really does. And I got to tell you, you know, coming from a, at a group now that has three Ford stores, it, pick up and deliver is a thing now, guys. It's a real thing. Ford, and they just announced it officially in the first quarter, you have to offer 30% pickup delivery to your clients. That's a client that's never coming across. You have to figure out a way to accept payment. 
how are you going to do it? How other way can how, what's the other way you're going to do it now? Because quite frankly, we all know that there's some DMS options out there that are extremely challenging to say the least. Okay. And they failed, which is kind of given this whole thing a bad taste. I hate to say it, but it has. And I'm going to tell I'm going to, I'm going to give Julie a little shout out here. I'm going to tell you what Julie does. Julie's not a vendor, just so everybody understands. Julie develops a partnership. And, and that's what the key is. And that's why Julie understands, and as Tully always represents, you have to sell the office managers back to that. Because realistically, guys, they're the ones behind the scenes counting the cash and making everything flow. All we're doing is shoving the cash drawer. Look at the amount of people that are feeding that credit card machine. Finance, service, parts, body shop. Everybody's using the machine. And we expect the people behind the scenes, upstairs, in the closet, wherever we stick them, a lot of times they're off site. You know, because a lot of people are big about the centralized accounting now, yeah. and I've seen it fail, I've seen it work, and you're expecting them 400 miles away to know who ran the credit card and when they did it. I mean, it's it's a recipe for disaster. So huge shout outs to Julie for creating, I hate to say, communication inside the dealership as a partnership. And that's what Julie does in a nutshell. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. It's all about a partnership because with systems like this, it's not, you know, we're going to, you know, get into the dealership and work with you for a few months. I mean, we really want a long-term relationship. And that's one of the things that I've really put a lot of my efforts into is not just providing a great product and making it operate, you know, wonderfully, but it's also to continue development, continue to add features and tighten things up that are relevant to you guys specifically. Um, it's not going to be in a restaurant or a hotel. It's specifically for a dealer. So, you know, even going down the road further, I'm already jumping the gun and, and getting into EV chargers and kiosks and different other ways to make it even more uh, convenient for your customers to pay. Wow. So that is new, Julie. And you got a couple other new things you want to share with us today. And um, if, if you don't mind, uh, I want to get some feedback also from Sean and Tully on that. So, Julie, what, what do you got? Sure. So with our DMS integrations right now, we have that live feed for parts, uh, service, and also deals. And then we've got the reconciliation feature that helps them reconcile the batch on a daily basis. We are going to take it one step further and get into actual accounting receivables and payables. So the goal is to remove that paper check, the paper. Um, so we're going to uh, provide access to them for both debits and credits, receivables and payables, to perform those with electronic transactions. So that's gonna just alleviate a lot of time, a lot of you know uh, mistakes and make sure you get your money just as fast as possible. Tully, so this, sounds far, this sounds far ahead, Tully, of, of what else is out there. It does, because you, know, you think about this is that small businesses, which we deal a lot with, body shops or small businesses, right? We're not talking about Google here, we're talking about small business, which is probably 99% of our business. They don't have any money in the bank, right? And they're just trying to float enough money. And I think when you offer the payable situation where they're paying us is that if they have an option to use a credit card, they get that 30 to 60 day float, which sometimes they need because what we don't want is a check and they're hoping and praying it, pass, it passes, yes. right? We don't want that at all. We want the ability to say, we can help you run your business better by you signing up for this and paying with your credit card and get that float that you might need because body, you know, as you know, body shops rely on insurance companies. They pay when they want to pay, right? You know, mm -hmm. so I think that we want to make sure we have options for our good, our great customers. We want those body shops. We want those independent shops that buy parts from us every day to make it because we want, they are great, great customers. And wholesale is a big part of a dealership's business. Julie? Yes, you're absolutely right. Um, so we're, we're looking to advance, you know, some of our integrations with the DMSs today. Um, we're also adding some different uh, payment types. So, for example, with our send payment request feature that you can send a link by text or email. Remember, with the DMS integration, it also includes a copy of the repair order. So when that consumer signs on behalf of the payment receipt, they're also signing that repair order. And we're keeping that for your records if there's any issues with a dispute or anything mm. after the fact. So that's really big. But guess what now we're going to do is we're going to add PayPal. Um, give customers a PayPal Venmo option to pay um, with that text or email request. So that's one thing we're getting ready to roll out as well. Um, and then here, I know there's a lot of competition out there now, but I'm getting in there. Buy now, pay later. So we are working with a couple of partners to uh, develop dealer pay later as a tender type, uh, both in and out of the dealership. 
um, and oh. even pre-qualify them on the front end so that perhaps those ROs could be, you know, uh, include more more services. So you can basically in increase your, your ticket for those okay. transactions. Very impressive. Tully, if uh, you spoke to your peers, if they spoke to you, you know, about, you know, considering something like this, what would you, what would you say to them? I say that is, is that do you have is your is do you have cashiers at your store and if you do stop mm -hmm. it please what we want is we want our service advisors to be the last person that talks yep. to us the reason we don't have service rights as cashiers is that we have to buy all this expensive equipment from our banks that don't even work and you know and if there's a problem call the 1-800 and be on hold for 10 hours the issue what we want is that we want it to be easy for our customers and easy for our service riders to be the last person besides the car person bringing the car up that talks to that customer. Yes. The worst thing you can ever do is, okay, your bill is $1,497. The cashier's around the corner to the left. And they get up there and the bill's 1,800. The cashier's going, let me try to find the person. He's got a urinary infection, can't be found. What the hell? <laughs> right? you know, the issue is that we wanna make it where the person at the, op at the desk can resolve that problem and make that person happy. Why? Because we're in the repeat and referral business. And I hate to tell you, credit cards is what it's all about. Wow. And Julie, this is really, truly the last step in the retail process. And the customer has a long memory and they're going to they're going to remember this. Yep. Yep. Uh, one more thing I want to throw out there. We've also just added a gift and stored value. So we are offering dealers the ability to sell gift cards at their dealership for any good or service redeemable only at the dealership in addition to stored value which isn't actually a transaction but it's helping to manage those weos that you guys have for various reasons whether it's a disgruntled customer or an employee whatever it might be so we're just trying to add certain components to a point of sale software program that cover all the bases all the things Sean, any, any closing thoughts? Uh, yes. Yourself? For those out there that are debating this and debating why this works, guys, you guys want to get inside your controller's head. You want to be their hero. Cash flow is king, guys. What what Julie does is Julie creates cash flow. Quick cash flow, quick cash into the banks, baby. They see the money tomorrow. How is that? That's the key right there. They see the money tomorrow, especially to Tully's point on wholesale and collecting checks, guys. Checks are a disaster. Get out of the check business. Get out of it. That's a disaster. Julie offers a solution to that. Cash flow is king, baby. And Sean, I would think this could probably not only improve the relationship with the office manager, but uh, you know, make sure that uh, you know they're not meeting with you quite as often, you know, to discuss things like this. It removes the silo. We talk about it at every panel. It removes the silo. Remove the wall. Don't bring me problems. Bring me solutions. Here's a solution, guys. Right here. Well, wow. yeah. and. I, Tully, I heard Julie say that she met with not just one office manager, but there may have been several from uh, Nilo. Well, what we wanted to do is that after we realized that this was a great product for the fixed ops department, the sales department, we had our controllers do it. So she interviewed all of ours. We had a we had a conference call with all of our office controllers. Okay, that's that's scary right there. <laughs> and we want to so they can hear you. They, they'll hear this, you know. And, and and controllers don't hold back anything, right? No. So the goal is that we want Julie to explain how easy it is for them to do their business right because they have challenges matching up. As Sean says, you know, it, it, you're trying to match the money up because they need the money in the bank. Yes. And. And if you can make them easier, if the controller's on your side, it's a slam dunk. So what she did, she talked to all of our controllers and our vice president, right? She talked to them all and guess what happened? They all came back saying, wow, it can do this, it can do that. That's how you know the product works. Making your office office uh, people happy is key issue. Julie, I'll give you the, the last word. <clears throat> I love office managers. I mean, I, that's how I started my career was figuring out a way to make them happy and um it, it's great to hear you say that um they sound like a great bunch of ladies and i look forward to working with them but um you guys don't have you know an easy operation for some processors because you've got multiple stores and there's a lot of moving parts so if you don't have a system that puts all the parts in the right spots it'd be messy so i understand why those ladies get frustrated if they're missing that one check because it throws off their whole batch it throws off their whole day so um i'm happy to help with it i look forward to sharing the feedback on the installation and sean you're on my list 
<laughs> You're on my list too, Julie. And by the way, I love my, unlike Tilly, I love my office managers for those that are watching. I love you all. I love you all. Dear. <laughs> I do too. I love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Julie, are you going to be uh, in person at the NAJ later this week? I am. I am. So our office, uh, our, uh, our office managers, our, our viewers can stop by and, uh, and meet with you. You bet. And um, Dealer Pay's got a, a big booth and we've got some good giveaways and we'll be doing demos of our system. So definitely swing by. I'm going to tell you a booth number here in just a second. My and apologies by, for not having it handy. And, and by the way, Julie, for those who are not going to NADA, uh, I see that the dealerpay.com website is scrolling across the bottom along with their email and yep. I see a phone number that says call or text. So I would assume yep. that's you. Yep, that's me. Uh, definitely just call Julie and my booth number is 6938. We'll be representing. I hope to see lots of new faces and lots of friends as well. So. All right. If you meet with Julie, everybody, tell her that uh, you saw this on the Fixed Ops Roundtable with Tully and with Sean. So, Julie, we appreciate all that you do for our industry. And thank you for- Absolutely. Thank you, gentlemen. I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Ted. Thank you for bringing thank us to the you. modern age. Sean Kingry, thank you so much. Thank Kaiser you. Automotive Group, Tully Williams at the Nilo Company. Thank you for all you do. The Modern Payment Acceptance Panel here at the Fixed Ops Roundtable.